Hello everyone, Dalton the Dev. This is my vehicle spawner system. I'm going to quickly show you how to set this up and then we'll get into demonstrating it. So, first things first, you're going to have a folder called spawner stuff. You're going to ungroup all these in their respective category. Once you do that, you can delete the original folder. Now from here, you need to explain how things work. You absolutely need teams in the game. You can, you can have one, that's fine, but this is important. So you for every spawner area you have, it needs to have the team name of the people you want to be able to spawn there. So I want civilians to spawn here. I want fire to spawn here. I need to make sure that the team name and capitalization is exactly the same down here. You're going to need to do the same thing with the vehicle storage folder. So these are all the civilian cars, EMS cars, fire cars, police cars. And then the folders are, and then these folders right here are all your vehicles. Now with these, important thing to note is that they have something called the prompt point in them. You absolutely need these to have something in them called prompt point. You can change up the, the pad, whatever you want to call it, however you want. You just absolutely need a part in it called prompt point. This is where the uh, proximity prompt comes from. Make sure capitalization is correct too. Spawn areas, you can add in as many or as little as you want. However, uh, if there's something in that one spawn area, it'll use the next available one. So these just allow for flexibility and more areas for vehicles to spawn in versus ve people spawning vehicles on top of each other. Now, once you have all that done, you have your vehicles in here. If you want to add in like a game pass to it or a group lock it or make it a rank lock with the group, you just throw all that down there. Now, if you don't have that there, you just go to attributes, click the plus button. You'll type in group or whatever it is in all capital letters, and you'll change this to number, click save, and then you'll be able to add in whatever ID you want down there. Now, if you don't want the car to be rank grouped or game pass locked, just don't have anything there. It knows it'll just make it free and available for everyone. Uh, and of course, separate teams have separate folders. So now, if I go in here and I click play, I should be able to spawn in vehicles as demonstrated. So spawn points will go away. They're not going to show up as red. <laughs> of course, it's not working. It has it. I think it's just not visible. There we are. Sorry. I'll fix that later. But as you can see, the four v civilian vehicles here are right here. I know I'm not really changing through them. But you can color them however you want. And as you can see, rank lock shows the rank it's locked to. Game pass shows the the game pass it's locked. So I don't actually own this game pass. So if I try spawning it in, it's going to say I don't own the game pass. Uh, I should be able to spawn this in because I'm an admin in my own group. And as you can see, I can drive around perfectly fine. Uh, it also has a way to tell if someone already has a car spawned in, so people can't spam them. So if I go here, click on spawn again, it'll delete my old car, respawn in the new one. Now as you can see, if I go over here and I lift this up, you're going to see it says fire. If I try clicking it, nothing's going to happen. If I go into the server side, change my team over here to fire, and then go back in and try, now I should get the fire thing to show up and it has the ambulance. Uh, the FOV is messed up. I'll show you how to fix that momentarily. Click and spawn. Bam, there's the ambulance. Now, if you want to fix the FOV like I just showed you was an issue, there's this part that you absolutely need to have in every single car model called cam align part. This is a requirement. It needs to be in every single model. This is how it knows where to display the car on the camera. Now, if you want to adjust the position, you move it around, whatever, but in this camera line part, there's an FOV setting. I'm gonna change this to 35 for the ambulance. So now if I go in game, go to server, go to my thing, click me, this teams fire, go here, move this up a bit so I can see the prompt. Hold E, now I have the ambulance. And now see the ambulance is in the frame now. Just like you'd want. Now, if you don't want it to be colorable, you don't have to add any colorable parts. Um, if you do want a model to have colorable parts in it, you're going to go into the model and you're just going to add in 
parts that basically say color. So any part that you want the players to be able to color, you just name it color. Capitalization matters, of course. That's how players can customize their vehicles. If you want to adjust the camera angle for your viewport frame, you go into this script, base, car preview, and you can change this up a little bit to change up your camera angles. Um, if a car is spawning in upside down for whatever the reason is, uh, try to v edit its um, position in the studio. So, or orientation, I should say. So edit pivot and then try messing around with this and try to get it to see if that'll fix it. Um, and that should fix the problem. If that doesn't fix the issue, or it's like upside down in the in the viewport but not in game, go to camo line part and adjust that. Because this, this will rotate the car however you want. Other than that, that basically shows off everything for the car spawner. Oh, one more thing. Sorry, I'm getting ahead of myself. Colorless frame, if you want to add in more colors, you just go here, duplicate it, add in whatever new color you want. I'm going to change this one to like a stupidly bright pink. And now if I go down here, click play here, move this part back up. Sorry. <laughs> Hold the, now I have that hot pink color that I can choose from. Spawn it in, bam, there's my color on the car. And yeah, that sums it up. Thank you, and have a nice day.